the, the communication within the ministries and, and, and the government type, but also with the population on the other side. And ICT for sure will play uh, a quite good and important role. But uh, uh, should we look? In, we should bring into the data also the quite very traditional uh, ways of communication, like the open meeting, open budget uh, session, and etc. Yeah. Uh, second concern is about uh, uh, inclusiveness. Uh, for sure, um, in, in, the, in the current situation, the most marginalized group they they have not uh, the skills nor the capacities to access even even a cell phone. And, um, and uh, fostering the introduction of ICT without looking into these issues might uh, increase the, the, the separation and the, and the marginalization of, of, of some groups. And, and when I focus on groups, it's still uh, a, a very big share of the population in, in rural areas. Um, the, I think the point on, on uh, the, the value added of, of different uh, kind of uh, uh, tools on, on this place and providing information uh, are quite clear. Uh, it's more, more challenging how the information can be collected. Uh, again, especially in, in the rural areas and, and the lower uh, government patterns. Um, finally, on the, on the capacity from, from the bureaucracy side, I think that has been already covered with, with the potential of power, the energy, etc. And uh, I must say that um, we see improvement uh, in, at DACA level, and uh, in, in especially in the ministries that I, I'm dealing with, but uh, there is still a great potential in, in basic use of emails and, 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 uh, and web. And, uh, and uh, I think it's, there is a, also a mindset that is required at all levels uh, from the government and the population to, to really introduce a, a good ICT system. Thank you.